Hello and welcome to X Talks Vitals, home to the latest life science, medical device, and food industry news. I'm Sonia Hunt. The world's first RSV vaccine for adults, 60 years of age and older, has been approved by the FDA. Here's Aisha Rashid with the story. Thank you for the introduction, Sonia. The FDA has approved the world's first vaccine against respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, for adults 60 years of age and older. The vaccine is called RSV and was developed by Glasgow Smith Klein. RSV is a respiratory virus that causes cold and flu-like symptoms such as coughing, sneezing, runny nose, fever, and wheezing. However, in older adults and adults with underlying health conditions such as heart or lung disease or weakened immune systems, as well as children, are at a high risk of developing severe infection from RSV that can lead to complications that can result in hospitalization. Severe infection from RSV can lead to lower respiratory tract disease, or LRTD, and pneumonia. The FDA's approval of RxV was based on results from a phase 3 clinical trial, which showed that RxV significantly reduced the risk of developing RSV-associated LRTD by 82.6% and the risk of developing severe RSV-associated LRTD by 94.1%. Several RSV vaccine candidates, including ones from Pfizer and Moderna, are currently in advanced stages of clinical development. Pfizer is anticipating an FDA decision for its RSV vaccine in August 2023. Back to you, Sonia. Thank you, Aisha, for that story. That's it for today's show. Visit xtalks.com for more information on this story and click the link in the description below to find out more about our featured life science webinar for this episode, Fast Tracking Drug Development in the Post-COVID World, Curia's Approach to Rapid Scale-Up and Development. Join us again for all your life science, medical device, and food industry news on xtalks.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Xtalks YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and click the notification button to stay tuned for more.